Hello everyone, Eddie here. Bevo Tech back. And yep, I've got a kitchen. I was kind of having trouble with the foods. So I thought, I don't know, I'll make myself a kitchen. And it turned out pretty good, I thought. Minecraft, uncooked. Pam's Irish Craft, uncooked. Growth Craft, and... What's the other one? Natura, uncooked. Over it would be the cooked. But at the moment, I'm kind of cooking it and eating it. Which is probably not my best move. But this isn't all my food. No, not by a long way. I kind of got all that to go as well. There's plenty in there. What we pork chop, beef. That's what we want. We want a bit of beef. This is the one I know. See, so this is what I'm doing. It. We want the skillet and some toast. So we go beef, some toast, and a skillet, and burgers. Twenty-one of them. And to make the toast, all you do, I'll show you quickly, boop, is, we've got wheat in there. Of course I haven't got wheat in there, that would be too obvious, wouldn't it? Wheat, there we go. Crafting table's all over the show as well, just to, come on, be a, oh, I can do that, can't I? Yep, so that saves time take pork out of there, so you've got food everywhere. So all you do to make toast is get your wheat flour in this case, which is just wheat in a thingy, get your bread, bung your bread back in the furnace, and give your toast. And that is a lot better for you than normal bread. And a hamburger is a lot better for you than normal bread and a beef. I'm going to let that bread cook up now I've got it started. But there is shed loads you can make using pams. I had some pork rolls I've been eating, got some calamari. And I've got my juicer to make juices, they're good for you as well. I've now got three golden bags because I went adventuring. And I haven't got any food in there to show you. But I went adventuring. These three chests and those two there were all full up of adventuring items of which some are still there found a couple of villages so I robbed a tinker set found a oh roguelike dungeon which I pulled that out of the top of bees from the villages uh, foods over there all the other kind of stuff like ender pearls and spawners and all sorts of bits and bobs, look, saddles, another enchanting table, loads of books from the villagers. It went crazy. Oh, I'll tell you what I did get as well, and I'll take that with me for when I show you outside. But no, a bit of chop and change in the castle, because you know me, buildings evolve, they never stay the same. Took down the two towers that came with, because they were just in the way. Stripped out these side walls down give us a bit more room and this bit is all going to change before too long it's all going to go because this isn't getting a little cramped got my smeltery made so I can double my walls really easy got that for making steel which kind of worked but I haven't used the steel to make any more mechanism stuff so it was a bit pointless doing it that early but I did it and oh, this is where you see how bad my housekeeping is at the moment. When I come out here, I'll get to spend two Minecraft days just harvesting everything. Preferably not with a diamond pickaxe, because that's a little bit wasteful. And literally, it can take me two days to go through the whole lot of this. I've got bamboos up there. The start of my gardens here. Got my orchards down here, so I collect off my orchards as well. So I gather it all up. Basically, it takes two Minecraft days to gather it all, get it all in. Cocoa beans, 
this is the best one. If you don't know about this one, it is well worth noting. Vines, chop them up, and you get growth craft, hops, and growth craft grapes. You don't need to set the farms up. You can just harvest them directly off the vines. The farms will give you much more, which will give you a better return by a long way. But if you don't fancy setting up the farms and trying to keep up with the iron and other farm, oh, just have a jungle tree. Bung it up, rub the lines. And what we got there? Three and nine, see? Oh, my sleeping bag when I was out adventuring. Cleared all this out now, because this is where my new lot of farms are going to be. Because we need a lot more space. Because looking at the ingredients I need for certain recipes, I haven't got half the stuff I need. See, what we got there was that, say, barley, asparagus, that is leek, lettuce. See, if I want to make BLT, I need a pork chop, lettuce and tomato. Well, I haven't got tomatoes yet, so that's not working out well. Corn, uh, oats, cantaloupes, and kiwi. They're the ones that I managed to get. And these are the standard cotton, wheat, barley, and pumpkins and melons, everyone knows them. So they're easy, don't they? So, this is more like grow it garden, where if I get one or two or something, I grow them in here until I get more than eight, and I'll take it out into the big farms, which these all need to go out on the big farms now. So we've got zucchinis, cabbages, cucumbers, rye, and winter squash. So they all need to go out on the big farms. I need to clear this a wheat so I can get an, two sets of small farms running. Because while I was adventuring, I picked up radishes, beets, asparagus, uh, netherwort, I need to get a netherwort farm going, blackberry, blueberry, candleberry, so many new ones, the grapes a new one, radish, did I have radish up there? No. But there's so many new ones, like rutabagos, strawberries, sweet potatoes. Whatever I haven't got already growing, I've got to start a new farm up for. So that is all going to happen. And that will all eventually end up in my kitchen. With my head. Yes, I died again. <laughs> I died. I died badly. It wasn't my fault. Another thing I've done. XP drain from open blocks. An open blocks tank. Which is just five glass panes for obsidian to give you two tanks. And that is just nine uh, iron bars in a, in a square. will give you the drain. Keeps your XP where you need it. When you want to enchant something, hold right click on it, loads up your XP back. When you don't need your XP, stick it in there. When you die, you don't lose it. Oh, what a perfect frame. That was good. So, yeah. That's what I've done up here. Got my obsidian with my diamond picks. I managed to find some diamonds in my mine. I've got some animals going. I'll show you my animals. Oh, I'll show you my slime farm as well. Yep, I have a slime farm. These little beauties from New Metacraft, when they're fully grown, they propagate by firing out the slime. When you kill the slime, there's a chance it'll drop a seed and plant itself again. So, these ones have been keeping me stocked in slime. They just fire the slime to there. Occasionally, the big ones get out over the top, but I'm not too worried about that. And they've given me nearly two stacks of slime so far, just by having them behind that door. Back door to the castle, yeah. All they do is sit in that bit. That's my little slime farm. This will be pigs, as you can tell I haven't got any yet. We have the cows, we have the sheep, and we have one lonely chicken. So when I got a safari net, I got another chicken. So I now have two chickens. But that will be 
my animal pens there. I'm going to make them bigger, automate them. The cows, if the mine factory reloaded still works the same, I should be doing the breed them baby out, grow the baby, slaughter the baby for the beefs and levers. Rancher for the sheep, rancher for the cows as well, get some milk, because I'm going to need milk by the bucket load for recipes because it makes the cheese and the butter. I tell you something, this mod pack is so intense. The Spice of Life is now optional. Bebo's updated. Unfortunately he's taken out one of my favourite bits which is the weather mod. Where it made the cyclones and the storms above. So that was really cool mod. But he's taken it out. There must be a reason. It must be buggy, world crashy or something. So he's taken that out. But he's also made Spice of Life optional now. Now when he originally made the pack, he was quite happy that people had it in the pack and it was how to play it, it was part of the mod. Now he's made it optional. I highly recommend anyone playing the mod pack, put it in. It makes all this, all the doing of the farms make sense. Otherwise you've got tons and tons and tons of stuff that you're missing out on. Of course you've got your botanias in here which you can do the botania magic or botania magic I can't say botania magic which I will be getting into because I started that with Lord Raven and he taught me a bit about that so I've been collecting up my flowers and I shall dedicate somewhere to a bit of flower magic i just got to decide where I've got, oh, I'll tell you what I did pick up, which has really got me thinking about doing it now, is some of Professor Flaxbeard's steam, steam, was it Professor Flax, Professor Flaxbeard's steam works or something, I can't remember the last word, steam something, but I picked up some of his stuff, there you go, steam power, Professor Flaxbeard's steam power. So we've got the book, we've got a couple of boilers and a couple of bits and they can make furnaces and all that. Uh, all this junk we picked up travelling about, that you find in a dropper in the wall when you mine. When I was running my little mine down here, in the wall was a dropper and in the dropper was the doodle. Everybody's seen classic setup of smeltery, timer, hopper, chest, puts it all in there, or just put it in there. So getting some nice resources built up now, so I'll be able to look at doing things easier. Looking at the next stage of automation, and I did want to do some really nice simple automation. Have I got the bits I need? Redstone. And now someone's decided to stream of the lawn outside. <sighs> it makes my day when my recording sessions go like this. Case it works. So I need some of that, some of that. That's a dropper. It shouldn't be in there. I'll need a furnace for now. Just one. chest. That'll be in there as well, won't it? Maybe? Yep. And let's go with... Got plenty of wood, that's what I can make out of that. Doop. Doop. And doink. What we need is a wooden, or two, wooden axes. Well, then there's a reason for need two wooden axes because if you get a chest, a furnace, a wooden axe, three logs down each side, you make a wooden chopper. Now, this. That sounded like something dropping down to kill me. This is progressive automation. 
clever little mod, especially when you're starting out, because what's that cost to make? A furnace, a chest, a wooden axe, and some wood. So basically all you're using is a bit of wood. I'm trying to think of a good place to put it. I oh know, right there. Now, have I got on me? No. Let's get some oak saplings. Well, actually, let's get acacia. Because acacia should work. There we go, we've got ten acacia saplings. This is almost primitive tree farm. It's like almost a primitive tree farm. It's got a range of one. So if I put them in there, put the other wooden axe in there to do the chopping, that does take wear and tear, so you have to replace it. Put that in there, and in this instance, I'm going to... Like a buttload of sticks. Normally it feeds itself on the trees it plants. See, it's planted one sapling out. Normally it'll chop a tree, self feed itself the logs. But to me, that's wasteful because a log does what is it, two burns, cooks two items. Whereas you break a log into four planks, break the four planks into sticks, you end up with eight sticks which cooks four items. So you're doubling it. So at the moment, I'm just bunging sticks in there. I will get lazy later and just let it do it on its own. Now, did I have a crafting table here? This is the clever bit. Let's just say I'll put in six. Am I going to have enough to do six? No. I can do five. If you run logs round a piece of redstone, you get wooden upgrades. These wooden upgrades can be put in here. And every wooden upgrade you put in adds a new floating spot. So if you would have put the eight in, you'd have a square of eight round it. Difficulty with that is having more trees will burn through your axe a lot quicker. But if that were to grow, he says needing some bone milk or on. Totally prepared as you can tell. Really thought ahead, I was plenty of bone milk already made there. You'll steal that one. That must have been me thinking ahead. We'll bone meal or tree. Oh, that went right in my face. There, we're quite happy now. Very slowly, chop it down. This is the most basic of them. This is the wooden one. You can take that wooden one, put it in the centre of a crafting block, surround it with stone, and make a stone one, which would then need stone axes to run it. But then to upgrade that, you need the wooden upgrade with the redstone in the middle, you put one of them in the middle and surround that by cooked stone. So the upgrades become a little bit more expensive, but the tool lasts a bit longer. See? But it doesn't do bad. I mean, you'll get the best part of a stack of logs per act, so you're not rubbing yourself. And it's a nice simple little way to get wood. That'll put it in there. Eventually when that runs out, I'll let that feed into there. And what that'll do is it'll feed itself, all I have to do is keep bumping in excess and it is a little very cheap semi-automatic um, tree farm. You can get planters as well which you pop under the ground and I don't know, see this is where it gets confusing, I know that chops trees but I don't know if you make a chopper and put it in the middle of crops whether it would actually chop the crops like a harvester but a planter will definitely plant from underneath. So if you put planter underneath centre one there and you put loads of upgrades in it, it will plant round. And that is exactly the same as that apart from it has a hoe where the axe is and you put a hoe in it to run it. So very cool. 
let's just do the old sleeping bag trick. Do like sleeping bag. Oh no, I didn't get F5 in time. Oh well, I didn't get to see the sleeping bag. It means your spawn stays the same when you sleep and you don't lose your spawn, which is really cool. What else has been going on? Everything really. As I say, I've got to prep up for this, these plants, these farms. That's what I meant to say. I've been looking, and I say, I've been looking because I've been looking blooming everywhere for rubber trees. You have obviously two rubber trees in here. You have um, my, Minecraft loaded rubber trees in here. But do you know what? I can't find them for love nor money. I've been everywhere. If I, that's as zoomed out as I can get it. You can see, like, I've been all the way up through there. Found a temple up here somewhere. All the way up through there. All the way up through there. <laughs> up to there. You name it, I've been there. Look at the, the biomes are all the same. I've not found a different biome really yet. I've been all the way down through there. I haven't gone very far that way yet. But I intend to. But just not find them. I found one IC2 rubber tree and that one IC2 rubber tree didn't drop any saplings. That's a village there. Have I been to that one? That's intriguing because that's got a tinkers. That's got vines or hops there. That's a church. That's a Tinker's Hut or a Blackbeard's Hut. I don't know if I've been to that one, you know. I might have missed that one. I might have to scoot out to that. This journey map's great because if I walk down there and missed it, it still comes up on the journey map. So, well, it's just a hell of a journey to go get that. Oh, I think I did see that one. Yeah, because it's near that other village. Maybe. Yeah, I think I found it. I don't know. I get confused. But yeah, the other thing with this spice of life is if you see the flashing yellow bits, if I was to eat that burger, which I haven't eaten recently, it would take my saturation right up to the flashing. If I was to drink the apple juice, which I have drunk recently, which will only give me 64% now, it'll only take me to there. So, if you don't eat something for about 8 goes, see now I've eaten that, that's dropped to 50%, so I'd have to put something else I've not eaten recently in there. So, it's, it's clever mods. Don't think to yourself the spice of life is like the hunger mod, because it's not. It's way, way better at the moment. But no, I still need to track down a rubber tree. And I need to smash this lot up as well. Change it all about a bit. Because I need a factory. I need a factory and stuff. Lots of factories. Because I need a pneumatic factory. I need a um, black speeds factory. I need a mechanism factory. A thermal factory. I've also got loads of these which are bonus yeah I did well honestly I really did well on my out and about rummagings looking for rubber I found everything I needed apart from rubber so what could you do where's them things there they are you just go straight in there <laughs> save for next time I flattened all that down hilariously cheaply. Made myself an absolute buttload of stone shovels and I enchanted them all. Well, as I would use them, I enchanted them. And just done it with efficiency one and it was quicker than using an iron shovel. And it just blew through that, flattening that down to make that as nice as it is. But hopefully, next time, I'll have my farms on there all laid out ready to see 
if I've managed to track down the elusive rubber tree, I'll have another little tree farm going for the rubber tree if it works, which I'm not sure if it does. See, look, it's doing all right. In a minute, that'll run out and that'll start taking over. Jobs are good. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Loads and loads and loads to do. I haven't really started anything yet. I'm just uh, keeping up with the housekeeping. Which, as I say, takes days. I've got older than all. Is that where I used the diamond pick? Pick there. I'll fix that one day. <laughs> you know it'll be one day. They'll be there for ages now. Bit of shows up this side as well, doesn't it? No, it can't see it in here, so it'll be alright. Let me know it was there. Oh, yeah, my mushroom gardens and these these towers. The bottom of the tower is great for mushrooms. So, anything that can grow food, I've got it growing food at the moment. Because it is so important. Right, I'm going to call it there, everyone. I shall catch you next time. Have a brilliant day. Bye.